What's going on guys and welcome back for another episode of Let's Play Fire Red. In this episode, uh we're going to finish off the rocket tunnel. I was about to say tunnel right there. I meant hideout. By defeating the leader Giovanni as he just said. So um he starts off with, "Oh, sorry." I accidentally hit the mic. So he starts off with Onyx. And only level 20 not. Uh, wow. Only level 25. And that is no threat at all to us. It would be much less of a threat. Uh, if we had a water, ice, or grass type. But we don't. That's not how I roll. just gonna be a casual let's play but since I know a lot about this game and it's my favorite Pokemon game of ever then I will do a lot of explaining on how to do stuff like I, I bet there's a bunch of some puzzles uh, more ahead and uh, I can I haven't decided about this but I can just stop after I beat the Elite Four and not go on to the seven different islands. I mean, I'm pretty sure I have to go on to, like, the first three or four, but then I beat the Elite Four, and after that, there's, se there's seven other islands. There's one island, two island, three island, four island, five island, six island, and seven island. And, uh, well, that's when you get in, get the ruby and the sapphire. Because, believe it or not, uh, this game was made after the ruby and sapphire series. So, that's good. So, what the ruby and sapphire does is, uh, it pretty much lets you trade on which one you have you can get both of them to ruby or sapphire i don't think there's an emerald but anyway that's why we're here the sylph scope sorry if i got a little off track on the end or like what i probably won't do i can explain that i don't know some other time but that's basically it and that's what those islands are for. There's also, uh, they're also for like training and other things to do. And eventually, uh, you have to beat the Elite Four again. And this time, the Pokemon are much, much stronger. The first time you beat it, I'm pretty sure the highest level of the Pokemon isn't even in the 70s. I think it's not even in the 60s. Maybe the 60s. Like, I don't know. 62, maybe. But anyway, it's pretty much not that high of a level. But once you come back, it's like 74. And that's the only way I can train my Pokemon in my own personal file on this. Because I'm just doing this for the Let's Play and having fun. This has been a really fun time for me. But it's still going to be fun. Because I still got a bunch, a bunch more to do. And you know what, not that much. I've got nice Pokemon. Pokemans, that's what my friends call them. Sometimes. Like, whenever you go by them and we can play Pokemon cards or whatever. And, uh, they can, like, especially one of them just goes Pokemans. But anyway, we went in the Pokemon Tower and there is Smelly right in front of us. Oh, yeah. And this is, uh... Let's see. You know, I don't know. I don't know. 
what number. I, I, I've battled him too many times. It was the first one when we first got our Pokemon. There's one. And the Victory Road one that was optional. That's two. And the third one. And it takes a while to battle him after that. I think it was actually the SS Anne. And. Um. The fourth one. You know, I think that was the last one. So I guess this is the fourth one. So the fourth rival battle of the game. Right next to the fourth gym. Pretty cool. And the fourth gym is just going to be like a walk in the park for us. Or, or, or... To be funny, a walk in the garden, huh? Huh? <laughs> because it's grass type, and the the gym is like a big garden, huh? <laughs> yeah, I think it's funny. But we're finishing off Smelly with how the heck did he get the execute so early in the game? Oh, lucky. I don't know. I I wouldn't use execute. Not saying that to you guys like you shouldn't use execute. I mean, I think he's fine. Executor, I think it's pronounced. So, we got a bunch of type beating Pokémon to beat Smelly's types. And it's going to be even better once we get uh, our water type to beat his Arcanine that he'll eventually have. And in the second time we beat Dealey for, he catches, he actually gets rid of his Pidgeot. Which, uh, I'm sorry if you were like looking forward to looking at his Pokemon team, but he gets rid of his Pidgeot, which is just such uh, idiotic I would say so because we did the rocket hideout before even going into the Pokemon Tower we are just poning uh, poning I guess yeah poning we are poning him because he's just got level 20s and his highest is like level 24 I think yeah I don't know why did I say I don't know? Maybe it was like 22. But we beat him. What, you stinker? See, he's always referencing odorish type things. And he's looking for a Marowak. Oh, I wonder where to get one. Hmm. Maybe in one island, two island, three island, four island, or whatever. Oh, this is going to take forever. I'm going to cut out. See ya. Whew. Yeah, did you like what I did there? It was like fog. Be gone, intruders. It's a ghost. Or is it? The Sylph's Goat unveiled the ghost identity. The ghost was Marowak. The ghost is Marowak. Wow. So I'm speeding through this battle. Making it really fast because, like, it, it takes a while to beat this level 30 Marowak. Cause, just because it's level 30. So I went ahead and chose Super Flame because he needed to evolve. So, of Cubone, the ghost, the mother spirit was calm. It departed to the afterlife. Ha, <laughs> afterlife. Funny. This game's all about spirits and stuff. So I'm going to speed through this part. And right now I'm just getting ready for the series of battles ahead. Kind of like how you get ready for the Elite Four. You actually have a Pokemon Center there though, but whatever. It's like in between the battles. Help a feet! 
But I'm just gonna speed through this really fast and go like four times the speed as it normally goes. So it'll only take like 30 seconds. About. Maybe, maybe less. Probably about a minute actually. I changed my mind a minute and like, I don't know, 30 seconds. A minute and 30 seconds, I'm going with that. Final answer. <laughs> But too bad I'm not, I don't know, I'm like commentating, I'm recording the footage of me doing this, and then I'm commentating on it. I, I, I don't have a screen recorder, I feel, I don't know, I don't feel ashamed. I, I could feel ashamed just because like every, everybody has a screen recorder, we, not me, I'm sorry. If I disappoint you, and you want me to do something on the screen, like play Slender for you, <laughs> no way, no way. But my my friend is actually trying to convince me to play Slender with him on an LP. Huh? <sighs> it's not working so far. So. He actually didn't need rescuing. He came to calm the spirit, which we did. So, he's leaving. Mr. Fuji. Mr. Blue Jay. How does he know my name? Oh my gosh. Without deep love for Pokemon, your quest will fail. Oh. I didn't know that. I was treating them so badly. No, I'm just kidding. Huh. Oh, he gives us a pokey flute, and upon hearing the pokey flute, Pokemon will awaken from the sleep. So a soothing noun, uh, a soothing noun, a soothing sound will awaken a sleeping Pokemon, such as the Snorlax that are keeping on getting in our stinking way. The little stinkers. So we've got a four Pokemon team, pretty much. Because five is like, I don't know, you know how in Ruby and Sapphire, like, people always get a zigzagoon just to teach it a bunch of HMs? That's like Meowth. So, oh, because I'm not recording this, like, right now. Like, I'm recording my voice, but I'm not recording the footage, because it's already recorded. So I'm just commentating on it. And I just noticed that uh, Meowth has an item, and, oh. I wish I could have picked it. Alright, so, we're on our way to the, you know what, no, 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 I need to go back, I need to go back, no, 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 that was pointless, I need to go back and get the Eevee, no, ah, oh. no, ah, oh. okay, yes, now, up, no, <laughs> This is so funny. Okay, whatever. I think I'm funny. I'm not. I'm not that funny. I'm not that funny. Oh. Oh. Oh, you go. Oh, you go against the wall. What a dweeb. I don't know. I'm calling myself a dweeb. <laughs> so, if you go up those stairs on the top of this roof, there's a building. So, we gotta go around. Oh. And go in the building. And there's a guy. Hey, he looks like he's a fighter and a karate person. Huh. Eh, he knows we're playing on Game Boy Advance. Ah, this is funny. A, po uh, a person in the Pokemon world just mentions that you're playing on a Game Boy. I'm actually playing on the computer. Ha! Ha. Yeah. So, here we get the Eevee. I gotta nickname it. Oh, but. Oh, but. I don't have a nickname for it. Oh, uh, whatever. I'll just do something. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, I know what to do, yeah. Because I don't know the name. And I can't figure out. It. See, I can't name it when I don't know what it's going to evolve into. 
Oh, my God, has a stinking item, and I can't do anything about it, and I even switch. Oh. You know what? I might actually get Vaporeon. My friends have requested that several times. So, I might actually get Vaporeon. But I can't ask you guys, like, what I sh what you think I should get. I don't know if, like, I become popular and you're watching this now. I don't know. That might not happen. Oh, wow. But whatever. You might watch it. I don't know. Like, I started watching Red Falcon games. And, like, he has a Let's Play of Fire Red and... Oh, oh wow, this is just point- Oh, they blocked that off? That's so stupid and idiotic. So, the main thing for this gym is cut. You pretty much don't use cut after this gym, because this gym is just all cut. You just cut everything. So, if you go up here, there's the gym, and there's a guy, and he's spying on the girls that are in here, because it's all girls in this gym. So there's your little peek of it, and thank you so much for watching this episode. Well, hope you like this Let's Play. Watch my previous episodes, watch my future episodes, and remember, stay awesome. Yeah. I'm trying not to lose my head. Yes, I like that one. I could really get jiggy with that. Lovely.